there is an Icelandic association here in Chicago, but um, usually when they have gatherings, they're out of the city or maybe even in Wisconsin. I have been to um, some, what is called a Thorablot, which is the celebration of Thor, and it happens in, um, I think it's February, where Icelanders gather and, and eat our native food, such as rotten shark, flatbread, sheep's head, Icelandic pancakes, smoked lamb, and so stuff like that. So I've gone a couple of times. Well, the two that I have known about, even from growing up, one is the Tet Vietnamese New Year, and it's not based on the, the calendar year like we do with January 1st. Um, so it always kind of changes. Um, we wouldn't, you know, as I was growing up, we didn't celebrate it. But now, since I've been in Chicago for almost 10 years, um, you definitely know when it's going on because there's definitely, there's certain um, foods and um, other decorative items. And so I always would see this in the different grocery stores and stores in Argyle. Um, the other thing is, I think, a, a children's day, but I'm not sure if that's specifically Vietnamese. Um, but the idea is that they celebrate the youth and they celebrate the children. To the Bengali community, one of the social activities um, that is unique, not only to the Bengali community, but to the Bengalis of Bangladesh in particular, is um, it's, it's, we refer to, in, in our language, it's called Ekushe February. Yeah, I know, there's an English word tucked right in there. And what it is, is February 21st. And it refers to, uh, in our uh, political and national history, it refers to the language movement. There was a situation uh, at the, uh, during, the, during the nascent uh, uh, rising of Bangladesh as a nation, um, there was a situation where uh, the possibility was that the national language was going to be Urdu, which was really only spoken by a handful of people in Pakistan. And so there was an uprising, the students and our students in our country are very, very involved in politics. They're very vocal about politics, they're very active in politics. And so there was an uprising among the students and said, absolutely not. Why? would we have Urdu as the national language, it should be Bengali because the population is much bigger. And they said that we should have it like Canada has dual languages, uh, dual official language, English and French. So we could do that. And so there was this uprising, students got shot and killed, kind of like Kent State U uh, in American history, I guess. Um, and so since then, it has that day has been commemorated as the Language Movement Day. And it is, then it, it has now turned into a national holiday. Um, and, uh, and that is celebrated um, and remembered. And it's very peculiar to Bangladeshi Bengalis as opposed to, say, Bengalis from India. Uh, like Calcutta is also Bengali because Bengali people live in Calcutta even though they are not in Bangladesh, boundary-wise. Every New Year's, like the Laos New Year's, we have, um, we rent out like um, a facility, the, the community does, and we rent out a facility and they have like um, ethnic dance and, you know, drum playing and different things like that and just everyone comes together and has um, a good time and there's food, like um, different um, ethnic foods and so it's, it's a great time to get together. I guess all Puerto Ricans like to dance, and like every time they mention Puerto Rico, every, like the majority of the people think of salsa or like merengue. So that's basically the social activity that, that every Puerto Rican does here, as well as in the island. That's, the, that's, that's, that's something that is really like part of both cultures, both of Puerto Ricans in the island and Puerto Ricans in Chicago. They're really like happy, they enjoy life. Uh, here that we do here, there's not that many Venezuelan people that s would celebrate any of the important holidays here in Chicago. It's not like the Mexican community that is huge and they do uh, September, September holiday that they do or May 5th or May 1st, so, you know, it's just, we don't have that.
but um, July 5th is the Independence Day in Venezuela, but I don't celebrate it here.